Welcome back to my Desert Only Iron Man, episode 16. I wanted to start this video off by thanking everybody for helping me pass 1,000 subscribers. At the time of this video, I'm actually past 1,200, and I couldn't be more thankful for all of you for supporting my content. If you haven't already, um, feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit a like. That really does help out the videos and the channel a lot. But let's go ahead and get into this video. In the last video, I said that I needed to get level 50 crafting for a strength amulet so I can start training my melee stats a little bit more efficiently. So I started out by doing about 1,000 silver ore just off the bat. I went from level 51 mining all the way up to level 54. And here we see a magpie impling. Um, these implings were showing up a lot when I was mining. I saw that and a lot of ninja implings. So one of my passive goals will be to get to level 75 hunter. That will allow me to bare hand catch magpie implings. And just a quick update on where I'm at with my ore. I actually got some um, implings as well while I was out there. So I got my first soul runes, 11 soul runes. I don't think I'll ever use those, but it's nice to add some new items to the bank. I'm just over 600, so let's go ahead and get this finished up to reach that 950 mark that's needed. And here we go, catching an eclectic impling. I got a couple oak planks. I got a lot of oak plank um, loots from implings in this video, so it does help me. I needed to get more just so I can slowly train my construction, and I didn't even have enough to build everything I wanted to. I don't quite have the level yet, but I do hope to mine iron ore and make more exit portals or do clay and make some soft ponds or small ponds, not soft ponds. And here we have our first inventory of silver ore going into the furnace. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly knock out all 950 of these, and this will allow me to get to the crafting level. So that wasn't too bad. I did most of it on mobile, so I did hit a level, but I didn't record it since I was just going through mobile. And now we'll just quickly go through and make all of the tiaras. Um, it was a fairly quick grind. I finished it all probably in a day or two. I mined all in one day, and then I smithed and crafted the silver in the next day. So it was a fairly easy grind, slowly just churning out the levels. Le hitting level 50 is a big milestone just so I can make those strength amulets. And the next crafting milestone, as well as I need to get a dragon stone so I can make a ring of wealth. From what I've heard, the scarab mages drop a lot of things on the RDT. So that would be very helpful if maybe I can pull like a dragon spear or I think there's some rune items on there as well that would be very helpful. But anyways, here we go, finishing up our level 50 crafting. We'll go ahead and head to the bank and I'll pull everything out that I need for the strength amulet. The strength amulet, I'll show quickly here, will provide me with plus 10 strength bonus. And when I used it at Scarab Mages and Calphites and then Alcred Guards, I noticed that my max hit was up by two. So at Scarab Mages with the Karis, I was hitting up to 18 non-potted. And when I did use a combat potion, I was hitting upwards of 20. And then at the Alcarid Guards, I think I was really only hitting about 14 or so. Um, just because the Karis, if you're not aware, has upgraded stats against Scarab Mages, um, Locust Riders, and Calphites. So I'll definitely be using that. But what this Strength Amulet allows me to do is get more XP faster for my melee stats. And going into this, I decided to start that passive hunter grind I established at the beginning of the video. So quickly, what I need to do is get to level 75. It won't be that quick, but what I noticed is that I was getting about 70,000 experience an hour if I was going as efficiently as possible. Now, that's not it's sustainable if I don't really have anything else going on, but doing that much hunter is just really annoying. But I'm going to go ahead and just pop on the screen what magpie implings give, so you'll be able to see what kind of loot I can get from those. And there we go, level 62 hunter. I just did quickly two levels um, from 60 to 62 in this video. Catching a lot of implings passively, just barehanded, kind of helps me a little bit. It doesn't give me a lot of experience, but it ranges anywhere from maybe like 20 to 30. 
and here we have a genie random so if you notice in the last clip as well I got a genie random I think I got three genie randoms in this one video and it got my Slayer experience up to 40 there's not really a reason why I'm raising Slayer if I get it high enough via via um, jar, uh, lamps I can go ahead and use that on like um, I think desert lizards but I think I can't even kill those because I need I think it's like ice packs or something to kill those here we have just some more oak planks coming in I always spend maybe a day just hopping worlds at the Alcred bank trying to get implings so you'll just see a couple clips that is my eighth mithril pickaxe I don't have the chaps that I'm looking for or the red spiky dehyde van braces so it is really annoying that I'm just only getting those pickaxes level 67 hit points coming in here and then following up level 67 hit points will be level 71 strength um, I have to kill about a thousand to 1500 guards per level at this point for strength I missed the little pop-up message but level 71 strength there I could go to Cal fights, I think it would be faster, but what the Alcarid guards give me is the ability to get herbs. So there we have it, after getting 8 mithril pickaxes, I finally get the blue dehyde chap that I'm chasing. The only item left I think I'm really looking for is the red spiky dehyde van braces, but I cannot use those till 60 range so it's not very important at this time, but this is a big upgrade for me, both with magic defense at scarab mages and for Cal fight queen. So now, besides the van braces, I'm just going to try and hope that I get oak planks, snape grass, maybe some gold bars as well. And speaking of scarab mages, that is just a quick inventory. Um, they drop almost 3k coins at a time for their coin drop, so it's very helpful. A lot of gems, that's why I need the RDT, uh, the ring of wealth. And what I found out was that for, um, they sell anti-potion or anti-poison potions in Narda not Narda, I'm sorry, Sofanim. So they cost 432 coins each, but it might be a faster method to get vials than buying plant cures and emptying them. So if I'm really loaded in money, I can go ahead and just go ahead and get those. Another trip of Scarab Mages. I have a lot of rune square shields. And there's that snape grass. I like showing the snape grass just so you can kind of see that they're pretty common to get, so if you see me in like the next video with like 12 or 13 prayer potions, you'll know what happened to those scarab mages. And that is the third random event genie in the video. We're about halfway to level 2 slayer. And coming in here is 45 prayer. I decided to do some AFK fishing while I was just kind of trying to do other things. It's not very important. The only thing I can really use the anchovies for is once I get an oak larger, I can go ahead and get anchovy pizzas, but it's only minimal fishing experience at a time. A quick maze random event gave me a couple hundred chaos runes, so that's very helpful. And level 42 fishing gave me 1,050 total levels. And of course, after fishing all those, I decided to cook them. I hit level 44 for cooking there and level 45 here. That actually gives me the ability to make meat pizzas. So I need level 55 for anchovy pizzas. A long way away, but once I start making pizzas, I'll get experience and then I can just add anchovies at level 55. This was probably one of my best inventories for Scarab Mages. I lasted a very long time, picked up about 170k. I got 96 coal, uh, which is insane. That's three coal drops, 22 myth bars, and I think six uncut sapphires. This is just a quick overview of what I've gotten so far just from Scarab Mages. I also get cosmic and blood runes and then cash as well. But these are a lot of the unique items that I cannot really get anywhere else. I have a lot of raw food, over 700 to cook, so that's going to be very helpful when I start that Cal Fight Queen grind. And then this is what I get from Gourmet Implings. So this food is going to all be helpful as well. The highlight here is the sharks. I have nine of those. They drop three in a t three at a time in a rare drop from Gourmet Implings. Like I said, I catch a lot of Implings barehanded, so I was able to pick up 
11 fire talismans and I have plenty of TRs from that crafting grind earlier in the video. So this is going to go ahead and get me 385 rune crafting experience. And that's going to go ahead and get me from level 3 to level 6. I thought this was going to be a lot longer of a grind, but the way I get fire talismans from earth implings, I might be able to hit level 14 shorter than I expected. I still only have maybe 100 pure essence from essence implings, but any amount helps, and if I don't have to buy fire runes, uh, that'd be great. <laughs> so there we have it, level 6 rune crafting, and my only level 1 skill is slayer, and farming is at level 5. I can do the sorceress garden if I wanted to, but it's not really on my radar at the moment. So I just wanted to finish off this video. Um, this is where I'll be hanging out for a while, just killing these Alcarid guards and then catching Implings if I see them in the minimap. So it's going to be quite the grind to... I want to get level 80 strength. I don't know if I'll go that high. I might go to 75 and then raise my attack and defense up a little bit higher just so I can kind of have some um, defensive power and some accuracy at Calphite Queen. But while I'm here, I don't know if my next episode will be out in a week or so just because this grind could take a while and it's very annoying. So I may just be AFKing for a while. I actually have a side project video that I was trying to see if I wanted to make. I may go ahead and release that at the end of next week if this grind is taking longer. It's just going to be like a little side series that I have that will be passive in the background. So I'll continue doing desert only, but I may have something different. It's another Snowflake Iron Man idea. Um, I'm going to see kind of how the reception is and see how I enjoy it, but look, in, look out for that in the next week or so, just because I'll be sitting here grinding out my combat, and you do not get a lot of experience here. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, and if you haven't already subscribed, feel free to do that, and a like on the video would be grateful as well. Thanks.